right, so according to my calculations, uh, the holes on that side have about five eighths of an inch from the top plate down to still clear that rod underneath. The base of this engine is three quarter inches, so um, one one inch and a quarter. So. Um, Maybe I can get away with an inch and a half if the hardware store doesn't have one and a quarter inch bolts. But I could always pick up this, uh, the extra with some washers on that side. So, but we're gonna, we're gonna see what it takes now to mount this engine down. All right, so now I've got the engine uh, mostly bolted down. Um, I didn't put these bolts in yet because I need to go to the hardware store and get some shorter ones. But I, don't, I wanted to show you. Uh, this particular engine has a three-quarter inch shaft and the pulley that came off the original sole blower has a one inch shaft so to deal with that problem we've got here an adapter just picked it up off the internet not expensive or ten bucks I think um, and what this does is this increases that shaft to a one inch and also um, because I need to calculate how far out this pulley needs to be. I picked up some uh, machine bushings, three quarter inch. I'm gonna slide them on there as spacers. And then the shaft uh, expander goes there. And then we line up the pulley. I'm gonna have to tap that on with a hammer. Based on what I just did, I see that the uh, I'm gonna have to put more spacers in the back there because uh, well, I see now this whole thing slides off. But this is not properly lined up. I need to go back to the hardware store and get additional spacers to to space that out. All right, so I put in the uh, proper amount of um, machine bushings here take up the space that was needed to line up the belts nice and straight on the pulley and uh, got the pulley bolted in the end of the shaft here got everything back together and I think that uh, with the exception of a plastic cover it's time to gas up this engine put some oil in it and uh, see how it runs all right <laughs> 